Alright, Remy from the Lugheads, back again with Slay the Spire. I've been trying for, I think like, three or four days now to beat the game with the silence. And the other day I actually put in like about 14 hours of gameplay in one day and failed miserably. I think I got to the boss like two or three times and failed every single time. Um, girlfriend sticking her tongue out at me. That's, that's fair. I suck. I understand. At her recommendation, I disabled fast mode because I definitely play too fast for my own good sometimes and miss some very obvious things. <laughs> so, um, I'm currently in Act 3, and uh, let's take a quick review of what I've got going. Uh, I kept my starting artifact, so draw two additional cards. Max HP increased by 4. I ended up getting some curses that reduced my HP, so that's why I'm only up to 74 at the moment. Um, calipers, so at the start of my turn I lose 15 block rather than all of it, which is good because I have a defensive build going. I have the curse key, so I gain energy at the start of every turn, and whenever I open up a chest that's non-boss chest, I get a curse, and I've just been spending my money getting rid of those, and then every time I discard a card I gain 3 energy. Um, or I deal 3 damage, sorry. It would be lovely if I could gain 3 energy. And I did start Act 3 just to see what was coming up, and I got this, the Runic Dome. The, the Curse Bell and the uh, Astrolab are not particularly good, but having 5 energy at the start in exchange for not being able to see Intense is pretty solid. As far as my deck goes, um, I have 3 Strikes left, 3 Defends, and then my Survivor and my Neutralize. I took the opportunity to, I believe, reduce my health in exchange for transforming two cards and then transform to strike and to defend and I got die 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 which is three damage or thirteen damage to all enemies and then an exhaust so that brought my deck down to eleven cards and then caltrops which is a power and that brought my deck down to ten cards total. Um, to maximize the caltrops though I decided to take on nightmare so that I could make three copies of it now that it's upgraded and that would deal 20 damage every time an enemy attacked me. And in, in further um, encounters, I ended up getting myself two copies of Wraith Form and making a second copy of Nightmare so that I can also deal damage for playing skills. And of course, I've got Apotheosis so I can upgrade everything. I've got a couple copies of Footwork. Uh, terror also exhaust so most of my deck is exhaust or power and I've currently got two curses which I need to remove and then after that it's just playing defensively tossing out the strikes whenever I can and letting the enemies kill themselves so we'll, we'll see how this goes take the runic dome and proceed it is going to be that stupid ass slug again but considering most of my build is towards doing damage with skills and being attacked, as opposed to playing cards myself, I can play defensively and hopefully he'll kill himself. Just quit hitting yourself is my motto, I guess. Um, Path of Least Resistance. Because I need to remove cards, so I need to hit merchants. That's the nearest merchant over there, but I'd have to face an elite. That's far along, but... Could hit a couple of question marks. At least three fights leading up to them. And yeah, alright, so that'll be the path. Let's see how it goes. So it really depends on how the cards end up coming out. Uh, this is the unupgraded nightmare, so it would cost three. Uh, more than likely, one of these guys is going to attack. Now I have 5 energy, so let's just do that. Reduce all of their strength, just in case they do plan on attacking. And let's play some defense. Still have 1 energy. Let's weaken you, and you usually don't attack. I'll use terror on you too. No, oh, he does attack. Well, either way. So, what do we got? So, there's an upgraded Wraith form, a Nightmare, and another Wraith form. Could, up, could make copies of Footwork. 
Let's get out one of the wraith forms. Uh, I don't think it's too important this early on. So I'll just focus on defending, I think. I don't really need to, like, risk taking attacks to boost up the amount of damage that they're going to take for attacking and stuff like that. Uh, well, now I'm not going to be able to defend and every... Well, at least that's one curse. Okay, that's not terrible. It's not the curse I was expecting. Because I have pain whenever this is in my hand. I hope that I also have survivor so I can discard it because I lose health for every card that I play when it's in my hand. Alright, well, there's a footwork. Return of Yawning Remy. Man, took a lot of damage from that exploder. But so be it. Okay. So there's Caltrops and Pain, so... Either one of you gonna attack? If he attacks, but I don't think the Repulsor actually attacks. I think he only puts out Dazed, which is frustrating. So I have to kill him. And I can't kill him. Of course not. At least I can do damage to you. The spike damage doesn't trigger his spike damage. That would be a funny little back and forth. Alright, so there's pain again. I'll just play two, that should be enough. Alright, so he's gonna buff himself again. And I can just play a skill and that should kill him. Yep, there we go. So this ends up being, thanks to the calipers, kind of like a barricade build with uh, the ironclad. I'm trying to avoid taking cards that aren't exhaust or something along those lines. Because I don't want to have to play many cards. Uh, this is optional, so I'm going to leave them be. Uh, heal to full HP, lose 9 max HP. I'm gonna have to, at the very least, face one enemy, 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 potentially two, and then have to face another before another campfire. I'm gonna take it. All right. Find some potions. Um, I think a swift potion probably would pay off more. Weak potion probably not that useful, so I'll take a regen in exchange. This shouldn't be too bad. Especially, well, that's unfortunate. Can't discard you. I kinda just wanna play careful. Huh, a power doesn't count as a card being played, apparently. Oh, no, no, it did, because I had 65 health. Alright. Um. Yeah, I think. It's not worthwhile. Looks like all three of them are gonna block. Nope, two block, one attack. Seven damage, not terrible. So clumsy, not bad. Could make a couple copies of Terror and use that on everybody. It would be free. Uh, go play Wraith form though. Having a Four copies of Terror isn't particularly useful. Mm. Having low health is gonna really suck. Alright, 17 damage there. Could play the Wraith form and get a little bit of block. Discard you. And. kinda wanna take this. Even though I am going to hit another campfire, I want as much health as I can for as long as possible. You block, you block, okay, good. So I do 10 damage when I play a skill. 
Ugh, why do I always yawn when I record? That's a skill, that's gonna do 10 damage to somebody. Alright, and then I have free strike. You have the most health. Block, attack. He's probably on attack. Yep. Okay. So, I could make copies of neutralize. That would be interesting. Uh, I do have spikes out at this point. And skills. Playing skills. So maybe making copies of blur would be good. Let's do that. And I'll play neutralize, get rid of the strike, even though that is probably a waste. And then... Well... Not what I was hoping. I was hoping I'd be able to kill this Darkling, or at the very least weaken him. That way these guys would all die together. He's regrowing, he's defending, so I've got to get through 12 block. And should be able to, playing all these skills. Okay, and only one target. Fight's over. Cool. For a second there I wondered if the fight was actually over because I am no longer in fast mode, so it felt agonizingly slow. Alright. The Maw. Let's go ahead and terrorize you because I know you do not attack on your first turn. You roar. Let's go ahead and roar. This is what I like doing, playing Nightmare to make multiple copies of Caltrops. And then I'll weaken him because I know he is going to attack. And I'll play Caltrops and Survivor. I probably should have played Survivor a lot earlier so I didn't lose some health from doing that. Even on slow mode, I'm not thinking. Alright. So now, with all three of these played, every time he attacks me, he will take 20 damage. Okay. What you gonna do? Of course, you're gonna buff yourself. So as long as I have over 15 defense, then I should... I won't have any defense unless I draw some useful cards. I'll be able to keep defending. Uh, let's play footwork. That's 8 block. What you gonna do? You're gonna take all of that and do a little bit of damage, but you take 20. Okay. Pain. Alright, this time I'm gonna be smart. Play that to get rid of that first, and then blur, then defend. And I have an extra. Alright. So now I have 33, and that's gonna carry over. I'm gonna lose 15 block at the start of my turn, I believe. Or maybe not. Okay, so that's something I didn't notice before. So as long as I have Blur in effect, I keep all of my block as opposed to losing the 15 that Calipers would normally take. Useful to know. Alright, so I could play Nightmare and make multiple copies of Strike or Survivor. Um, at this point I kind of want to just stack up on defense, let him kill himself. I play three of those next turn, that's going to be pretty fantastic. Especially since he's going to be attacking heavy like that. And I've got a pain. Alright, so let's at the very least do this to get rid of that. I uh, could put out another Wraith form, this would bring me up to eight damage for every skill I play. Yeah, let's do that. And these extra copies of Survivor will stay in my hand throughout the rest of combat. Alright, 18. Where we'll keep the most defense. Survivor. Get rid of... I should have played Survivor last, actually. Oh well. 73 block. 
Yeah, go ahead and do your heavy attack. Take six. Oh, okay, so apparently he did a lot of damage to himself. Uh, don't need any of those. Skip and move on. Campfire. Heal, please. Please be a good chest and not a bad curse. Well, weak is okay. Curses can now be played. Playing a curse will make you lose HP and exhaust the card. Okay. Not terrible, as long as I have the health. Perfect. Remove all curses from your deck. Exactly what I fucking needed. Goodbye, curses. Ah. Things are going my way for the first time in days. Literally days. Kind of want to get the smooth stone. Do I need to remove anything? I could remove a strike. Mm. Let's count up how many cards I have that exhaust and power. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 card, 11 cards out of 20. So realistically, I only have 9 cards in my deck once all of those have been played. Not counting any duplicates that I make from Nightmare cards. Which typically I've been using on exhaust or powers anyway. So... Kinda tempting to remove something. I'm definitely gonna get the smooth stone, so I can't remove anything now. I could get yet another copy of Footwork. Having more defense for that final boss could be nice. I think I'll go with it. Because I don't... I'm not going to get another curse at this point. So... Unless that uh, next question mark ends up being a chest. Which hopefully it won't be. Alright. At least one of you is probably going to attack, so let's make a copy of Upgraded Footwork. Three copies of Upgraded Footwork, I should say. Alright. Toss those out for 11 block. And... Let's neutralize you. Could have also played the, uh... Reduce the strength of everybody for a turn. That would have also been a pretty solid way to defend. Well, I chose the right one anyway. Alright. This will bring up my dexterity pretty fucking high. 15 dexterity. So just one block is going to give me 20 block. I'll go ahead and play the Caltrops. And yeah, let's see how that goes. That probably will be enough block. 25. So he did some damage. Alright. You're gonna buff yourself. And... Yeah, perfect. So literally one block was enough. And this is really gonna snowball very well. The uh, calibers carrying over my defense. Uh, I will take damage from the spikes by playing this. Alright. So, 6 damage. Let's get you lower. Yeah, yeah. And you're the only one sacking. Perfect. Okay, Survivor now does 23 block. So let's play Wraith Form, that way Survivor does extra. That means I'll keep that dazed, but it's one block. And I did some damage. Okay. More dazed. Another attack. You attacking too? No, you're buffing your explosion. Alright. Need a hand with defense, which will not be coming up, but I do have apotheosis and footwork coming up. Uh, hmm. Could guarantee myself three copies of strike. There's something next turn. I'm gonna be using three energy next turn, so having two copies of strike would be nice, maybe. Unless I get more dazed. Let's do that. And then I can play this on you to get rid of you. It's one less person adding days to my hand. He 
he's gonna add two, so there's a possibility I won't get what I'm hoping for. Okay, so three strikes. Apotheosis. At the very least, the strikes are now upgraded, so I can get rid of you. I don't want to kill the Exploder, and I don't want to attack the Thorns guy, so I'm going to discard. Hopefully the Exploder doesn't kill himself. Please buff yourself. Yes, thank god. That would have been a lot of health that I would have lost for no reason. Alright, so now I have all of my cards upgraded. 23 block for Blur. 23 block for Defend. Exploder didn't hurt me. I don't even need to get that out. I'll do it anyway. And shouldn't take any damage from him, even if he attacks. Which he won't. He's just buffing his spikes. And you don't take spike damage if you if you do the uh, damaging blow to him. Or the killing blow to him. So, oh, I guess you do, actually. Never mind. Alright, don't need any of those. Moving on. I only have to survive, potentially, one more fight. And then the boss. And don't need anything from the merchant. Alright. Let's see what we got. Alright, this shouldn't be too bad. Repulsors are frustrating, but not terrible. I do have my upgraded nightmare, so I can make my Caltrops do crazy damage, so he should kill himself, almost. Um, otherwise, I will defend, I believe. And get this Caltrops going. Next turn, I'll get my other three Caltrops out. This first turn he always blocks, but then he starts doing 10 times 1, 10 times 2, etc. So the more he attacks, the more damage he'll do. Uh, could toss out die, die, die. Could toss out footwork and blur. That's what I'm gonna do. More block. Not enough yet for it to snowball, but should be enough to do a decent amount of damage. 20 to him. Dazed, and then he's gonna attack twice, I think. No, just once. All right. Hoping I can avoid taking too much more damage. Because I want to be able to heal as much as possible in that final campfire before the boss. It does take a while for my block to stack up. Yeah, he almost wiped out, what was it, 65 block in two attacks? So there's another footwork. A piercing whale. So if you guys are going to attack, it's going to be weak. Well, at least him, anyway. I forgot you had artifacts. Fuck you. Alright, neutralize. That's going to hurt me. Please don't be attacking either of you. Please defend. No, no. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna be starting the boss with so little help. Uh, uh, why? Why? There's literally been days, and this is the closest I've been, and I'm only gonna have 21 health going into the final boss. Oh, time-eating cunt. Alright, so I've got unupgraded Nightmare. I don't remember what he... Uh, the first time I fought him, I believe he attacked the first turn. So I definitely want to neutralize him. And more than likely, I'm gonna die. Because if he is going to attack this turn, I have no block. All I can do is make copies of Caltrops, strike him once, toss that out, and hope to god he doesn't do 21 damage. Oh, thank god he's defending. I've never been so happy for a boss to be defending. <laughs> oh, I need footwork, I need... Oh my god. I need to defend. I want to make copies of the footwork. It's almost too risky to play stuff right now. Uh, 
Well, block, that's probably not enough. What are you gonna do? You're gonna attack. Don't kill me. Oh, thank god. I've got four health. I don't know if terror affects the damage that he does to himself. Got another footwork out. Alright, so I'm up to 30 block. Just please keep snowballing. Uh, don't. Okay. Okay. Stop. Thank you. Just please keep letting the defense cards come. Dexterity. Block. Alright, so I've only played four cards. Okay. Yes, keep doing multiple weak attacks, please. That way you do more damage to yourself. I want that. Alright, Survivor, Defend, Defend, Wraithform. Uh, I'm afraid to put out Wraithform because that means I won't be able to play one of my blocks. But I'll do damage. I mean... Uh, I'm gonna do it. It's a risk. But I gotta do it. 54 block. Should be plenty. Okay. So far, so good. There's another Wraith form. And a blur. A block. Okay, yeah. I should be able to play all of these. And blur means that I'll keep the maximum amount of block. I am literally scraping by. Okay, good. He's blocking, so that means I get to keep all of my block. 47 block. <sighs> I can only play two cards. I can make more copies of Caltrops. And hopefully that will be enough block. Could attack him. Uh, I would only do four damage, so I'm just gonna add more Caltrops. Let him do the damage to himself. That was the strategy. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Oh god. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm scared. I wish I had, like, a bullet time or something. I'm gonna weaken you. Uh, uh, Alright, I can get three more Caltrops out, so he'll be doing... 30 damage to himself for hitting me. Please don't hit me a lot. Okay. One. Two. Three. Okay. Whew. Uh, defend. Defend. Wait, I could play everything. Okay. Alright, I'm not playing stupid. 69 block. Alright, and he's, he's buffing himself. I can only play one card next turn, but I have a ton of block. Whatever gives me the most block. Survivor, I don't care. Is that turn over? Yep, that's turn over. I have 75 block. He has 215 health. Alright, he only attacked me once. Okay. Weaken him. Caltrops. Defend. Strike. Please do not do more than 49 damage. You're weakened. It shouldn't be. Yes. 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 Okay. F4. 22, 40, 58, and strike. He only has to hit me once, and I win. I did it! I did it! I killed the Time Eater and I beat it as a silent! Oh my god! I finally beat the game as the other character. Why has it been so hard? I did 470 damage to the Spire. Uh, I have only done 965. I have only beaten the game twice. And collectively, the community has now dealt 2.2 billion damage. Ugh. This has been an exhausting attempt. It literally took me, let's see, at least like five or six days, five days maybe, just to beat the game as the silent. That is five days probably around 24 hours total if not more attempts playing this game each game lasting maybe 30 minutes 
That is a ridiculous amount of time to be playing this game, and it hurt a lot, but I am so happy I finally did it. That's been uh, Slay the Spire. Definitely going to play some more. Um, we now have daily climbs available, so once every day there is a new challenge. So for today, you would play as the Silent, and you would start out with two colorless cards in your deck in addition to your starting cards. Lethal enemies, so enemies all start with three strength. Elite enemies are swarming the spire, so more of your encounters are going to be elites. And you no longer heal in between acts, which is incredibly painful. Um, I'm probably not even going to bother attempting this. I may attempt it just for my own fun, but I'm definitely not recording it. It's not going to go well. Uh, and then there's an as of yet unreleased or unknown third feature. And still, we do not have the third character. I'm really looking forward to it. I would love for it to be a type of summoner, curse character, something along those lines. But uh, yeah, this has been Slay the Spire with Rami G from the Lugheads. Have a good one.